What is up everyone? This is Pyotr, and we will be continuing from the last video. So now it is 25th of January 1939, and we are preparing for war with Poland. So let's click play. Start on speed 3. Just want to actually plant some more stuff here. So yeah, let's see where we're at. Um, excellent. Yeah, that's the focus we just did. What are we doing now? Okay. Treaty with the USSR. So this is pertaining to this little chunk of land. We're just, we're reasserting our eastern claims, so we claim this. It's hopefully going to be ours soon. Okay. Germans united. Yep, cool. So, what can I do here? If I got rid of this, like I could disband this, it's going to get rid of the reserve. So you can see when they lose, um, there was no army, so that's gone. But that's okay. Let's continue here. One old, oh, we have some f military factories. Perhaps. Yeah, that's what I got from Mimo. I'll need more trains. That's a good idea. And what else are we doing here? So we can take a look at the general world. This is Spain is still Spain is still doing Spain things. Pain. And Japan. Yeah, I haven't looked at this at all, but Japan is they're at war with China and they're they're trying their best, so let's see see about that. We have Okay, so if you look at the casualties, it's like a two to one ratio for the Japanese side, so they might be our ally eventually. Hmm, we'll see about that. Now, what do we have here? So it was the east. That's what I'm preparing for. What's all this here? Okay, yeah. We'll add you to the reserve. There we go. So I'll get these tanks training. And for the reserve, yeah, we'll put it on the lowest reinforcement priority so they get the worst equipment. And what do we have here? So it was the east. That's what I wanted to do. I want to... I see these little icons here. I just want it to be easier to organize in my brain. So let's see here. For the army in Prussia, I don't know. We'll give it a unique symbol. It could be a triangle, sure. Or actually, yeah, let's do... I'll make Prussia... This symbol, it's a... Well, it's a V, I don't know. It's an arrow pointing down, because I'm thinking, it's like, we need to attack down, and that's, that's how it'll work in my head. Now, See, we have 44 divisions here. In terms of preparing, we could prepare an attack. I could say, all of you people here, when, oh? Oh, this is something. One second. Oh, okay, all right. So it looks like Franco was in some trouble before. Even without our help, he's finding a way to win. So, yeah, good for him. Now, yeah, of all the sides to win, Franco's the best for us. In historical, at least. Okay. Might as well get started. Yeah, we'll continue. I think we get a free model here, but I'm not sure exactly. So we'll see what that's all about. Bulgaria, non-aggression pact. Yeah, we're not. You, we're not going to invade you. Like we're there's a few countries between us, but we'll we'll accept that. Moving on. So yeah, I can see this is. I made a plan to attack. I can say everyone here just just like walk forward and take the country. But I, that's not really good. I think we can do a lot better than that. So we're going to delete that. We're going to delete everything and. We'll think of something else to do here. In the meantime, I can see we've got air experience navy. How are we doing? I think I got some more. F yes, I do. More. So the, yeah, these are all of our planes, all spread out everywhere. We're gonna start bringing them closer to Poland. That's where we're gonna be invading. So yeah, let's get everyone here. I'll get some of these big bombers. Yeah, we can send the big bombers up here because that's a bit further away, but they have longer range, so it's fine. Also, yeah, I'll keep the fighters kind of spread out everywhere. The allies are going to be bombing us, so I want to kind of have planes guarding everywhere here. And what else? You can see I'm, what are those subs I'm making? Yeah, so I've been producing those bootsies. I've now got 13 of them. Let's start training. These guys are done training. You can see the fuel. I'm not even trading for any fuel, and we're still doing good there. And what else? Okay, more boats. Let's get training. And how am I for planes? Plus 154. We're going to need a ton of fighters. The one I have now isn't great. So we're going to see if we can make that better. Yeah, so the BF-109D, is that what we're making now? Yes, it is. So this is, it's a light airframe with just a bit of guns, a regular engine. That's, it's okay, but we're, I think we can do a bit better. So we're going to create a variant. Instead of the BF-109, I'm going to call it the BFF-109, because it's their best friend forever. That's their, the pilots will love the plane so much. Now, we'll give them... What's this? Fighter weapons? Or machine guns? That's what they had before. We're going to double up the guns. And 
I don't want two engines. This is a fighter. I don't. It doesn't need two engines. That's. It adds more production, as we can see here. That's adding up. And what do we give them? Some special modules here. This is we research some of this, so it'll help the self-sealing fuel tanks. Those are really good. That helps with defense. And you can see we need to keep the weight. Yeah, the weight cannot exceed the thrust. So if it's the more beneath it, it's better. It'll go quicker. So we don't want to make it too heavy here. We can add extra fuel tanks. Yeah, that'll. What does this do? It makes um, all the extra fuel. It makes it. It's the air defense decreases, but we the range is better. So the yeah, that's good. And we will save this. So now the BFF 109. We're just gonna let's let's just replace all this here. BFF 109. What does this change to? Okay, so the it, the productivity goes down there, but we're still okay. You can also see we're now short. Yeah, we'll need some more rubber. So we'll start with one. I'm building some more here. Yeah, so some of these these synthetic refineries are getting built. I have all these anti-air in the background, so that's nice. And what else can we do here? I could recruit some more people. We're getting a bit low, but I can hold off a bit. I have 200, I think. This guy 200? Yeah. If we get Gadarian, we can, our armor goes quicker, and our doctrine we can research quicker, so I'll show you what that's all about. We've, we've touched over it before. Not super in-depth. Okay. So my, uh, the BFF-109, the Lil Boot, and the Mini Panzer. So those are all new things that I've designed. They're, yeah, now we're making one a day versus, yeah, four a day for this one, but it's, it's a lot worse. I'm going to go ahead and put 15 on this, and yeah. We don't need, yeah, we're still making three a day, even of the, of the bad one, so this is nice. Ton of guns. We're pretty much good. We've got all tactical bombers is what we're lacking. However, even if, like, we still, they're still in the field, it's just, like, here, I'll click on, I put them all up here, like, 87 on 100, 81 on 100, those will all fill up to precisely 100, so, we'll just wait for that. Okay, arch, now, I want to think, yeah, how can I invade Poland, this is what I'm thinking of, like, how can I invade Poland, how can I take this territory, um, getting some intel on them would be nice, that, I've been avoiding the spy stuff here, let's see. Dockyards? More little boots? Yeah, sure. I think what we can do, hold on, 23rd of May, the 10th of May. Yeah, if we add another one, the more, yeah, I've only been putting three on, the more you add, kind of a diminishing returns. So if you, like, going from nine to ten, it might save you a day of production versus, like, one to two will save you a couple months. But we'll put all these on four, and that's a pretty decent balance. All right, perfect. Better artillery. What else? Better anti-air. They're not in our divisions yet, so we don't need that right away. Let's see, what else can we do in 39? This is an amphibious tank. Yeah, I don't need... We don't need that yet. 39. These can all get better. That is very good. And... All right. We'll start with, uh, yeah, the industry stuff. We'll keep that up. And also, I think I might do something with these Marines. I know we're going to need... We'll want to invade Denmark and Norway. We might need to cross some water for that, so I'm going to make a new template. I've got a ton of XP here, so we're just going to do... Uh, we're going to call them Sea Lions. And we'll make them similar. They're going to be just kind of like the infantry. Yeah, so we'll add more here. Give them more to work with. And, yeah, this is going to be an elite division. We're going to give them some good equipment here. Give them support artillery. Find something to do with that support anti-air. What else can we do here? Logistics is pretty decent. I'll give them Cavalry Recon. That helps them in battle a bit. Not, It's not like super important, but it's a nice luxury one. And what else? Uh, signal Company. They can get into battle quicker. Logistics, they save some supplies. I'm going to hold off. This is fine for now. This is good to start. So we'll name them after Marine Divisions. And this is, that's a good chunk, 65, that's going to eat into that a lot. However, you know, we want to have good divisions, so there you go. Now we're down to 147. Now, here, let me continue on here. The, um, okay, pick a new focus. So now it's April. How many more can we do? Uh, I think, yeah, we have one more, and then we go to war. So we get one more focus here. What do we want? Um, what's this here? Hold on. 
This gives us extra, we'll be producing more rubber. And as I mentioned before, that's super important based on just our political position, so we'll need that. Now, I was trading those sea lions. We, um, they're a special force, like this, the paratroopers, mountaineers. Great, thanks. Paratroopers, mountaineers, and the marines, those are all special forces, so they're limited. We can only train so many. In this case, the maximum is six. We'll train six, sure, that's fine. We'll need them. And this is... So yeah, that's all the new... So this is around 60,000 extra people. Adding up. What else can we do here? April... Yeah, I'll set some fronts here up. I also know we're going to need to guard... We have a lot of shoreline, like a lot of coast to guard. And these kind of seem... This is kind of excessive for guarding the coast. So I think we can make a better one there. So yeah, for guarding the coast, I did see this one here. This is just... Um, Slightly less men than a regular one. They don't have artillery, just shovels. And that's... I think that's good. That's good for guarding coasts. Because they're not going to be doing much fighting. And we can see here... If I press edit, it is on... It's on the lowest... So it can be reserves, default, or elite. I'm putting on, on reserves, so by default they'll get the worst equipment. So it's just basically a bunch of guys hanging out with antique rifles, like... Standing on the beach, waiting for something to happen. And then, if they do end up in combat, we can just send in reinforcements, so... They're just here to stand around, guard the port. We'll make 30 of them, sure. We're going to need a lot. Now you can see we're down to 400,000 left, so we'll need to... That's getting low. We'll need to increase that. Moving on. Better construction, yep. Okay. And... Our initial divisions here are pretty good. Fighting Poland is not that... Poland is a lot weaker compared to us. Yeah, so they have, at most, 400,000 people in the field. We have a million. Like, I think if we can commit five to 600,000 to the invasion, that would be... That's all we need. Okay. I won't change... Yeah, let's see. I'm not going to... I was going to make a new infantry. We're not going to do that yet. Maybe I'll worry about that for the Battle of France. For Poland, let's just think of a general strategy. So, yeah, planning invasions, I'd like to think... We need to, we need to get the cities... That'll, uh, if we take the cities, then that's their road to surrender. We'll get more into that later. Also, defeating the army on the ground is very important, because then they can't defend the cities, so that's what it all comes down to. Also, taking the ports is going to be a priority, because Poland will ally with France and the UK. So as long as we can take these ports here, then no reinforcements can be sent in. So that's what we want. Now, I can a good way when I plan invasions, I like to click on Supply Mode. Because this is... Supplies are key. We need to supply our divisions. If the enemy is not getting supplied, we can defeat them easier. So with that in mind, I see I have this chunk of land here. There is... If I look at this territory here, it's a lot of forest. Looks like there's some forts. Like, I don't want to... It's, it looks annoying to have to attack here. So I'd rather just... We can just go to the capital. Maybe just try to cut all these people off somehow by joining these friends. That would be nice. I'm going to see precisely... Yes. So the supply is originating from the capital here. If we can push our way up, somehow get... We want to cut all the supplies off from all this area. So if we can just connect that, none of these become relevant at all. We'll be fine. We'll control all the railways. So we'll think of a way to do that. Now... Okay, these guys are almost done. We do have... I have an idea, so I'm going to send... We'll make the, our own unique... Uh, this guy will have his own little... Let's see here. So this is going to be... Oh no, he was a tank. Okay, what do I... I want someone quick. Uh, yeah, whatever, fine. So I'm going to put this guy right here, and we'll see what that's all about. See, so yeah, I assigned him, like, one division. I don't know why he didn't take this fort, this port, but he's going to drive here, and then I think he's going to go... Yep. So now this one division is going to go right here, and his only job is going to be to drive into, Z into Danzig. That's, that's why we have him there. Now, I'm going to have like a north front here. Let's set up some people here, speed this up a little bit. For the north front, there's going to be an attack going on, so I want someone good at attack. I see Von Bach here. With He looks like our best attacker, so what I'm going to do... Let's set him up right here. That looks okay. 
So this is going to be the north front, seven divisions. And we're going to give him an offensive line. So for him, the only, this is, this is his only job. Go with your seven divisions, take this chunk of land. That's good enough for me. Now, this guy here, we're going to start signing to the east. Okay. Oh, so yeah, National of Spain is winning without any help. This is getting sorted out. They probably lost millions of people, but, oh, where is hell? Now, so we have this guy up here. Maybe nine divisions, yes. And, so what I'll do here, I'm going to make a front line right there. I'll do a spearhead. Okay, so I'm saying, yeah, this truck, just drive up there. Just drive into Danzig, take this, I'll need it quick. And that's all they're going to do. These tanks, done, perfect. We'll get them down here, because I do have a plan. And these guys down here. And paratroopers done. Okay. But next, yeah, I'll continue with the industry stuff. We're not at war. We want to get uh, we want to get as much of that done before going to war. Now, with our so yeah, what do we have here? In the east front, we've got this guy here. Right. We'll also get them under a field marshal. King Zog submits to Italy. Well, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, Albania has joined Italy. They might be our ally later. With this guy, we again, we're, I'm not going to take over the whole country. We're just going to, we're going to, these are like initial objectives. So this is, go there. That's all I need. I don't want it to spread out over there. It's not really necessary now. So you can see we're kind of slicing the country up here. We're going to assign a field marshal for these two for now. Then, under the command of... Whoever looks the most appealing here, like, um, I don't know, Rundstedt? Sure. Urban Assault Specialist. Yeah, that'll be nice. So everything we select here will apply to the people underneath him. Now, so the north is looking okay. For the center, I don't need, I don't need many people guarding here, but I will have some. So we'll have, this is a less important front, but I'll still have someone here, so we'll put this guy, sure. And his job is just going to be hold the line. Just hold the fort, and we'll need you later, maybe. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we'll keep him right here. That's fine. Under the command of the field marshal. So yeah, they can have a maximum of five. How are we looking? We're, get, we're getting closer. Yeah, we're going to be going to war soon. I think my ability to count 70 days is not great. Wait, may... So yeah, that'll be... We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I think like July... Oh yeah, well, uh, we're going to hit... It. That'll be the next one we do. Now. So with this guy here, yeah, I gave him 11 divisions. His objectives will be... I'll just say go here for now. However, we're not... I'm not going to... He's not going to attack right away. We're going to do some other stuff and then see if... Um, they'll be able to attack when they're like enveloped or something. Finally, the southern front... Nine divisions. We might add some more here. This is where I want the main kind of thrust attack to come from. So actually, box should have been there, but that's fine. Who else is good? I see uh, Lieb is an infantry officer. Perfect. Okay, the, yeah, there were actually two things. I think I forgot to... Yeah, that's fine. So we've researched the new gun and the new artillery. Now, I think I forgot to change the artillery production. Yes, I did. So now these are the old one. Now... If I change it right away, it's gonna everything's gonna kind of bump down like we see this here. I do the improved artillery. I click that. Now it's making less. You can see um, there's a giant red bar that needs to work its way up every day. So if I was short a bunch of artillery, what I could have done is kept the bad one being produced, um, like keep it being produced as the new one gets more efficient, then switch over. In this case, I've got four thousand spare artillery lying around, so yeah, it's not a big deal. That's fine. Same with the gun. I've got how many of these do I have? Yeah, 29th, I have a ton of guns, a lot of guns, so we're not going to, I don't want any of these old ones, out with the old and with the new, and all the new stuff I make will go to the east front first, if they're on high reinforcement priority, so that is perfect. And we'll carry on. Now, okay, what's this? So I finished, I was making some motorized here, we might, we might end up reorganizing all of this, but for the time being, I will get them training. 
Also, I think I trained some more tanks. Yes, I did. And where am I putting them? I'll put them here, sure. And the sea lions. You can put... And now you can see I can train an extra one, so I could have gone to seven. That's due to the people I just put in the field. So I'll get those guys down. And our infantry temp... We're going to rename this. I don't like... Inf we'll call it... Shore guard. Because that's what they are. And that's fine. It's like a pawn. That's, it means they're not really important. So that's good. The shore guards. Get them all down. Perfect. And now we have... 1.4 million people in the field. Very nice. So... Where can we send you? Spread these guys out. Actually, that kind of looks... Yeah, I might change that. It looks too similar to the marine one. And yeah, that's, I guess, the whole point of changing. So yeah, this was too close to this, so I, I don't like it in my head. It confuses me. I'm going to change it to this, because they have shovels. And more importantly, it looks it looks like the infantry, except, like, less impressive. So it's like, it, in my head, it'll be, this is an infantry, except worse. Okay. This is crazy. We're getting ready for war now. And that is, yeah, that should be good. So by the time that's done, should be the end of this video. Yep, Danziger War. So to do this, we would have needed 950,000 people in the field. We've got more than that, so bite the bullet. Let's get her on. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Oh, that's that's nice. Mussolini, what, what's going on here? Does he want to be... Oh, he wants to join my faction? Wow, that's... I am flattered. Yeah, sure. What's? This won't hurt me at all later. That's that's great, yeah. So we got Italy as an ally. This is... So now we're looking stronger. Okay, let's pause for a second. Get rid of these. No template for armored car. That's fine. We'll find something for that. Unassigned divisions. Okay. Doctrines. Yeah, I can start with one of these. Like, this is what we've been looking at all game, and I've been avoiding because you kind of you need to be at war for it to be relevant. We're going to be at war soon, so I'll start with this. Um, basically, you can pick... It's like your overall philosophy of battle. Um, it is kind of important. We, we've already... With Germany, the first one is already selected, so we're not going to pick another one. We'll stick with mobile warfare. This basically means, like, you're winning via tanks and being quick rather than through other means. So the first one gave us better tanks, better breakthrough. The next one helps us with our infantry being organized, the one after that. And yeah, these are all very cheap now because it focuses. And yeah, so this will help our tanks. And what else? For 85. Yeah, I'll keep... Uh, that'll be good for now. And we can also do some air stuff. Like I see here, we can get better dive bombing, better ground support. And again, that'll be good to start. And to research, uh, recall there was, yeah, we'll get some more, more rubber. And we don't need to trade for this. We're not going to be able to trade for any when we're in war, so I might as well, I'm going to stop that now. And see, okay, so all those, I was building like a ton of anti-airs, those are all built. One more thing I can do, I think I might get an operative, yeah, we'll create an agency, this is a spy agency. There's a lot of cool things you can do. I've kind of avoided that because it's just more to explain, but it helps. It helps in the background, so we'll get that going. It costs five factories to do that, but we've got a lot of factories. Okay, Spanish Civil War is over. Let's get some more military factories up and running. So we'll do all that here. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Yeah, that is an excellent outcome. So yeah, we didn't even do anything and decide we wanted to win one before World War II, so that's cool. Now, what am I doing here? We had, yeah, the bottom group here. I will assign just this. And Slovakia, we're not going to bring Slovakia in. So this is the, the trick. We're not going to, we're going to, we'll be, they'll be our puppet. So the whole time, Poland's going to think we need to guard this border because we're going to get invaded through Slovakia. But the trick is, I care, I'm not going to risk, Slovakia is too delicate and too fragile to risk their beautiful faces in battle, so we're going to, they're going to just stick around and we're not going to call them into war. They can sit back and be a superpower while we do all the work. And Poland will be tricked into thinking they'll be attacked through that direction. Now, here, actually, it might be a good idea to split some of these guys up. this guy here yeah so we don't really need I'm not I don't want to push this way it's a bunch of mountains and it's not not appealing to me we'll 
take this, reassign this. Perfect. So this is going to be quite the concentration of people here. Might actually be... I don't know, that's fine. And for him, we'll say take... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. What is this now? Delete this order. Yeah, yeah. Offensive line all down here. Yeah, so he's going to attack up there. Also with these tanks. Yeah, I have eight tanks now. That's pretty decent. We're going to give these to Mr. Gadarian. And we'll make a new... I like to have my, well, my armor in their separate little units here. So I'll make this Panzer. I'll give it like a special... I give it special things? Not yet. I'll assign him to a field marshal. Do we have a... We do have a tank one, this guy. I can also promote people. Like, hold on, this is 40. Yeah, so if, like, Manstein, I think you could be a... You would be a good Panzer General, so... Manstein is now a field marshal. We promoted them just because I liked his hat, basically. And that's good enough. So we'll take Mr. Gadarian here. This is going to be part of our main thrust down here. Like, I want to link these. And we're going to do something called a spearhead. And we're going to say, Gadarian, just drive drive to Warsaw. This is all we want you to do. Just go to Warsaw, and he'll find a way to get there. So what is this? This is looking crazier and crazier. Hold on. I don't like that there. But the spearhead, hold on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it still looks weird. That's, that's cool. Don't know what to do. Medium tank stun, that's nice. What else? Radar? Yeah, radar is nice. And, okay. Speed that up now. With all of our, we'll want to do something about this here. Hold on. Get these guys back. This is complete. Okay, so we'll get an operative pretty soon. We'll get those guys out of here. I'm going to start making... We're going to be raiding with our subs, so I'm going to put all of my subs... We'll get them... We'll keep some of the surface fleet back here, yeah. These guys can start exercising. Alright. So right now, Donut says 14 subs. How many do we have in total? We have 53, so that's... We're, that's, we're up to a start. The ones that we're training can go to Mr. Donuts and what else here? Okay, so we uh, we have three assigned to repair. I can increase that. So if there's a damaged ship, I'll put that to ten. We're saying um, you can stop producing things and repair the ship. That's what that's all about. Great, done here. And I'll keep. We have some destroyers here. These are, yeah, this is the pride of the fleet. I'm going to keep these guys out of it because I don't want to risk their lives. This here. Yeah, I'm removing them. I'm putting them all into their own little fleets here because I just... I'm only going to take the subs for now. Perfect. So yeah, these are all of our little fleets down here. Like, we can see what's this guy, five destroyers. You can put five destroyers. This guy, that can be like, I don't know, convoy guard. And now Donuts has 34 subs. That is a good start. That's a good start. So what can we do here? We don't need to be training them. We'll combine them all into one fleet here. Just kind of... This is... There's many ways to do this, but I'm just doing it like kind of the, the simple, least thinking way. Put them all in a fleet, and then we're going to distribute them into fleets he thinks is good, which in this case it's 30 and 4. Like, I don't know what he's going to do there, but... Oh, well. And we're going to put them to convoy rating. We're just going to keep him... I'm not going to go anywhere near Britain yet. Okay, the, why are the Swiss spying on me? Hey, that's weird. Whatever. Okay. Getting close to 30 minutes. This is pretty good timing. We have... Yeah, almost done there. So yeah, the next episode, we'll be going to war. Perfect. And are we ready for war? Yeah, kind of. We we have convoys patrolling the seas. You can see this guy. We're going to move him... out of. This is kind of like the danger zone in here. I think we're safer once we're up here. Now, let's keep on training people. And these tanks will not be ready for battle, but 
That's fine. These guys training too. And we're at, what was this? Oh yeah, I was building. I was building more. Okay. Now what? So yeah, we are looking. I'll build some more dockyards here. Good to have in the background. I said I wanted infrastructure. Let's do one infrastructure in every single place. This will help. It helps our units be supplied. Like there's a lot of little things it does, but this will be nice. This will be nice to have in the background. Also helps our factories produce things. Like any factory in this state will produce things better. There's a lot of like little kind of background things. So it wasn't immediately important, but good to have. What else here? It looks like we have okay, so we can deny a new medium tank. What else? This is a this is an old heavy tank model. I'll just I'll start producing them just so uh we can have that'll be the men will use it for training. Moving along. Yeah, Air Force is good. Still have another one to assign here. Yeah, got this medium airframes, more stukas, and see those planes? Yeah, now we have like three hundred planes in the background. Ones we're training are done there. So we'll get those guys close to the front. Poland doesn't have much of an air force, but uh, their allies, like the Britain and France, can send help, so we'll want to try to stop that. We have too many planes here now. Let's move some, some away. Perfect. Okay. Now we can, yeah, we can recruit our first operative. Just like whoever, recruit whoever looks like they have a bonus. So this guy, he can infiltrate better. Good enough for me. All right, so I will stop the video here. We are done. We've completed the Danzig for war. So the next, we have a, I don't know, sort of, this is, this looks like a lot of arrows, but uh, we'll see how this works out in the end. Basically, we want to carve up their country. We want, to, we want to take it pretty quick and hope for the best. So I'll stop the video here. Next video, it is time for war. So this is Piotr, I will see you all next time.